guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today I'm joined by my lovely best friend Twin. You can see her here in all her purple haired glory. <laughs> and we are taking a look at her island of Soleil. We're doing another little tour. Um, we have not played together in a while. So this was a good little catch up for us and I thought you guys would enjoy just seeing how much her island's changed. At some point when she gets it finished, I'd love to do like a full on tour like we do for other people on Fridays. <laughs> but for now we've got just like a hodgepodge of her favorite builds. She's currently, you'll see as we go around, she has like lots of builds that are springing up that are brand new. Um, and she's working on figuring out flow. So I also think it's a good way to show you guys like I, she's uh, she's a beginner to the game just like I am, but she's also been playing a little long, uh, less longer than I have. Sorry, that was a very jumbled sentence. She hasn't been playing as long as me. Um, and she's done all this, I think uh, she's only had the game for like six months. So a lot's happened <laughs> on her island and you'll see that as we walk around. Um, so we're starting just with like a nice little look at her map and you look at this look at all that waterscaping She's done. She's started doing a lot more terraforming. She's got all new villagers She's focusing sort of on the more pastel like cute villagers. You can see she's got like four or five of those But then she also has Matilda <laughs> The emo kangaroo and she's gonna keep her so we're uh, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to it but anyway, um, like I was saying I think it's just good for you guys to see kind of a beginner island and somebody working through the process of designing it and like picking out their code slowly and stuff. Like, look at this! Look at this cute little spot we got right here! How adorable! This is one of my new favorite items. Um, I'm planning on doing some kind of like beach cafe near Clay's house with it. It's so cute. And I love the rug with the little throw on top of it and the planks she picked out. Very cute. Very, very cute. This is like a beachside farmer's market and she picked the most perfect location for it because it's right near her campsite. So I think the thing I'm most excited about is watching her um, figure out how to do like filler spaces because what she's basically done is like plopped down her favorite builds where she wants them to be but there's not really a flow to bring the areas together. So I'm just really excited to watch her figure that out and see how she's gonna do it. Oh, look at that really cool cafe up there. I ran away from it because I didn't want to see it early. But then we have her um, campsite right here. This is one of my favorite spots on her island. I just think it's so cute. Beachside campsites are like one of my favorite things. I did a mountain campsite, but I see other people do beaches and I just think they're so freaking cool. Especially in the, the winter like this. I almost said the summer. It's clearly snowing. Especially in the winter like this. <laughs> I think it looks really, really cool. Twins also really been utilizing using the vines uh, to get around her island, which I love. She likes to hide them on the backs of cliffs, so it's like a little secret spot. But how cute is this little cafe she's got going on? I think it's so adorable. And that little bag of um, coffee grounds, like next to the coffee maker, how cute is that item? Y'all probably know, but that's something you can get from um, Brewster. I'm terrible at talking to him every day. I just don't freaking do it. But Twin's been doing it and she's been slowly getting the items from him. So how cute is that? I want a million of them. It's got a little pigeon head on it. It's so freaking cute. And then the rest of the cafe down in here, I just love this witchy item too. Y'all know I love a good cauldron. And as we go down here, you can see she's got it set up with like individual little dishes on everybody's things. There's like a little gnocchi situation and then a bagel. I love the space heater because we're outside. Oh, it's just so cute. And then look at these pancakes. So those are obviously regular ones right in front, but those white ones, those are coconut pancakes. Don't those look so cute? I think they're adorable. You can also see over to our right how Twin's been playing with waterscaping and stuff like that in her flower collection. She loves the brightly colored flowers. They're kind of pretty much all over. She's Well, she's got like different dumping areas for them and different like patches for them, but she's really playing with like a lot of colors. So I think her end island is just gonna be really cool because it's just gonna be super colorful, super pretty. I went the wrong way, she was yelling at me. <laughs> if we go up here, this is another little unique spot that I think is going to be really cool. She wants to do, um, you guys have seen like the studies out in the woods. She's really inspired by the fact that she went to school in Cullowhee um, at Western Carolina and they had a lot, like if you guys are from the mountains or know the mountains, a lot of our schools up here have um, 
like big outdoor programs and just like overall strong connections to the outdoors so I'm really excited to watch her play with that one of my favorite areas on her island is what she's done with her like forest uh, like nature trail area I think it's so gorgeous and she's just adding more and more to it so it's gonna look so cool when she gets it finished So you can see kind of the outskirts of her work in progress orchard slash flower field. Again, gonna be super beautiful and colorful when she gets it done. I love the way she's like utilized all the different fruit trees together. It just, it looks really, really good. So then if we come up here, we got a double vine and something Twin is doing that I just think is so cool on this island. She's not, she's got like kind of the nature theme going, but she's all different holiday forever spots. So this is like gonna be the winter Christmas area where she's just gonna have this decorated for winter all the time. And then we'll show you guys the um, Thanksgiving and Halloween spots too. I just love it. It's very nostalgic for me. Um, she was talking about how she just doesn't feel like she necessarily celebrates those enough in real life. So it was nice to like be able to just put them in the game. And I love it. I think it's such a cute concept and idea. I just, it's precious. All right, if you've been here a while and you've been watching these updates on Twins Island, here's her rose garden. It's coming together so well. I think it's freaking precious. She's got the little pergola up now. So, so cute. Again, with the hidden vines so you can climb up here and stand in the roses. It's so sweet. I love it so much. You can see the corner of her, uh, see I went running to it. I was like, ooh, french fries, a carnival. And she was like, no, come this way. <laughs> so we went over here and I love this, the log cabin house next to this place is so cute. This is Thanksgiving Forever Land. How cute is it? With the apple trees behind it, it's just so warm and cozy. I love the way she set this up. And this is one of my favorite little spots. It's so, so sweet. And I can just see you twin, like building up some cliffs around it and like making them little designated areas. And the more items she gets and adds to it, it's just gonna continue to look so, so good. And we kind of ended up talking about, you saw the log cabin here. Um, she's gonna move Spooky Land over to Matilda's house or move Matilda's house to Spooky Land uh, to make that match a little bit. So I think giving a villager like a home near each little holiday is just gonna be so, so cute. It's such a, such a good idea. I freaking love it. It. And then this is over behind her house. You can see it in the corner. This is her like yellow flower field because she loves the color yellow. And as we go across here, we get to her little carnival area. And she was saying that it reminds her a lot of Bush Gardens. Um, the one that we go to is Bush Gardens Williamsburg in Virginia. So if you guys have been, you might know what we're talking about. I hadn't really thought about how this colorway with the green and the yellow looks like that but it really reminds me of like the germany section or the england section in bush gardens i just love it i think it's so cute i'm planning on doing this same colorway on my island and doing like a whole new fall festival vibe um and i seeing this was so inspiring i was like yes these items are so cool they look so good together especially at night um it's just really beautiful i love it like a little candle it's so cute oh this whole little area makes me so happy and then over next to the carnival area is gonna be Spooky Land. Um, she didn't play a lot in October, so she didn't get a whole lot of the DIYs. And I forgot to tell you, Twin, you can actually just go back, you can time travel back to October, and you should still be able to like unlock the DIYs and stuff like that. Um, but you know, she doesn't time travel very often. So if you don't, um, this is some items she put out. <laughs> you know, we have the pumpkin patch, the spooky colors, an empty can, a broken gyroid. You know, she's making it do with what she has. Uh, but I did send her several spooky items post this video because I just couldn't have my best friend struggling like this uh, when I'm the queen of spooky land. So we fixed it, don't worry. Uh, this is us contemplating what this item is supposed to be. I'm pretty sure it's a bath of some kind that you're meant to soak in. Uh, twins using it here is bobbing for apples. I know a lot of people have done that, but I, I think it's a bath. I'm, I'm not, I'm not 100%. I'll be real with y'all. I don't know. All right, now this is what I was saying is probably so far my favorite thing she's done because it's the closest to being like in its final form. Uh, this is her like nature path slash her mountain forest area. It's just so cute. I love the path she picked for it. Um, I love all the little items she's got going on so far. It's just 
very, very, very cute, very overgrown, but I really like the way um, she was very like uh, specific about where she put her cedar trees down. Again, that's something I struggle with. I always feel like I'm covering things up or I can't make it look good. And I see other people do it just like this. And I'm like, it's totally possible to make a pathway. <laughs> uh, she also sprinkled in all of her gyroids uh, and made them like a little spooky forest over here. These guys are spooky, y'all. Some of them are real cute, but that like wacky waving one in the back, I wouldn't want him coming at me at night. That would terrify me. And then we get to this beautiful spot up here with all the glowing moss. I brought her this pond the last time I visited. This is one of my favorite items. I just, oh my God, I can't get over it. It's so gorgeous. I could stand here and do this for hours. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what I was saying right here as I continue to do it over and over again. <laughs> but I just love it. I love that she's got the little seance items in the back. Just such a really cute special area. It's so, so perfect too for being over near the haunted land, near the carnival. I think it all just vibes together really nicely. And then if we go back the way through the spooky little demon people, ooh, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. And we take that other branch up through uh, the other side of the forest. We'll come to the little farm that is another one of my like absolute favorite areas. I think it's so cute. And I'm pretty sure it's Molly's house, I think, is the one that she picked for over there. It's a, it's a cute little spot. I'm not sure why it looks like I'm lagging here. I'm leaving it in because I think I look kind of funny, but I'm not lagging, I don't think. Uh, but here's the little pond. And then as you go up a little farther, you hit this little picnic area, very cute. You can see her dumping ground by the beach as well. That's where she hides her flowers. <laughs> And then if you go, here we go, we're almost there. Oh, we're almost there, we're almost there. Look how freaking sweet this is. It's such a cute little farm. I love that it's on the hillside. I love that there's some terraforming up behind it to give it some dimension. It's very cute. I'm pretty sure this is Molly's house, uh, but I could be very wrong. Twin, if I'm wrong, correct me down below, please, so that the people know who actually is the farmer here. <gasps> Sally, I corrected myself. Dang, I, mm, my bad. All right, and now we cut to me losing it in this glowing moss. I just think it looks like pixie dust and that does something really special to my brain, okay? I love it. We're back on the party beach now. This has been kind of updating each time we come to see it. And I realized here in, oh, you can change the color of those little wands. Did y'all know that? I didn't know that, neither did Twin. That's why they were both yellow, because she had no idea. So then I just, you know, went through the colors and put it on purple for her because that's her second favorite color. You should do like a yellow and purple uh, flower field twin. That would be really cool. I think I've given you purple hyacinths. And I think I brought you some purple windflowers this time too. So you should have more purple guys. Oh, uh, the little party beach is so cute. Okay, now we're going in her house. We're checking this out. She has done a lot of updating in here. Look at this. What? This is a far cry from the tent she had when we first showed up. Like, are you serious? Look how cute this is. I love it. Oh my god. Her little yellow hat on the wall. It's so cute in here. So freaking cute. Um, she was saying that her interior stuff, it takes her longer to do, but she actually really enjoys it almost more than building outside. And I actually felt that way too at the start of the game. I think it comes from like, as you collect more items and there's more you can do outside, outside starts to be more fun. But in the beginning, like while you're still hoarding stuff and figuring out what you like together, the outside just feels daunting because there's just so there's only so much you can do <laughs> until you have enough stuff to like fill areas so I completely know how she feels but I love this I love how um, she's done a lot of mood lighting you'll see that as we go through a lot of the interiors are like meant to be viewed kind of in the dark at night how cute is her bathroom I love it it's got a very like ship feel and you'll see when we get I think it's I'll turn in just a second you'll see what I mean it's very piratey and like it feels like we're in a little ship. I love it. I think it's so cute. I had never seen this wallpaper before, but I love it. I love the way the clouds look. It's super pretty. I'd love to get that and use it in my house. I think it's just so cool. I don't know what I would do with it, <laughs> but I love it. I also love the other brown wood that she's got going on. Y'all know I love the darker wood tones. That's just what I'm here for, you know? I, I can't help myself. She also has a working toilet now, which she was very proud of. Uh, that took her a while to find one that actually was like a functioning toilet. 
Um, and then now we're gonna go, oh, this is probably my favorite room so far. I freaking love her kitchen. She went with like an all yellow theme. It's gorgeous. I, I can't. I love the little fridge in the corner. I just think she did such a good job. And she put out some baking stuff so it looks like she's been cooking and making the pie. And I'm pretty sure I brought her that pie when I delivered her things um, the last time I came. I like, I'd love to bring her new things that I find. Because she's like my little, um, what did I say? I called her my little sugar baby. My little Animal Crossing sugar baby. Because when I come over, I bring her... <laughs> like a million trillion bells because I'm a hoarder and I've been to Treasure Island so I just have a stupid amount of money that nobody could ever go through so I just bring her like a good chunk every time I come to see her. <laughs> All right, now here we are in her bedroom. This is another one of my favorite rooms. Love the floor, I love the vibes of it. It's so pretty. I want that in my like little haunted area. Oh, it's just so cute. I love the way it looks with the rug too. It's just very, very pretty. And then she's got that little um, closet kind of chilling in the corner. I just think it's so cozy. It feels like um, almost like a college bedroom or like a, um, it reminds me of the apartment twin you were in, twin. <laughs> I don't know why, because you definitely, you had like a, your own bathroom and your own walk-in closet, but it gives me that vibe. Probably because it just feels like your space, like you're on your own space, but I don't know. I love it. I think it's really cute. And this is the last room in her house for right now. This is her upstairs. Uh, the money that I brought is gonna be spent on her new basement. <laughs> so this is like a hodgepodge room of like several different things. It's kind of like her crafting space, her study space. Cause again, she's kind of going back on those roots of like college and studying and cozy vibes of like libraries and book nooks and stuff like that. Um, I just love it. She's also got that little um, where her extra guest bed is over there, which I love. She's using Luna's bed as a little guest bed. And then she's got like the little sewing station over there. She was like, I don't know why I'm pretending to be a seamstress. Like I can't sew, but it's here because I think the item's cute, <laughs> which is valid twin. Very, very valid. Okay. I love it. I just love all the little items. Again, it just feels very twin. If you guys knew her, you would know what I mean. It's very eclectic, very cute. The little alarm clock for the guest. It's, uh, it's just precious. I think it's so, so sweet. And the little, look at the little um, wreath on the thing. It, I don't know. It feels really adorable. It feels like a little grandma's like storage space. <laughs> how it feels to me. I just think it's so... This is embarrassing to say, but to be as obsessed with spooky stuff as I am, I didn't realize that Jack's poster, Glue in the Dark, or Glows in the Dark? Gl glue in the Dark. Can y'all believe I just said that? I'm leaving it in because I deserve to be embarrassed. Um, glows in the Dark. Didn't know it did that. It's so cool. I cannot wait to put it in my little seance room when I build that. Stay tuned. It's coming. But that does it for today's tour of Twins Island. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see a different take on the game and watch somebody's island come together a little bit slower. I think it's so much fun watching each time as her stuff changes and she gets more items and she adds to stuff. It's just so nice. It's good to see somebody just enjoying the game and playing it for fun <laughs> instead of just for content. I don't know. I love it. I hope you guys had fun with this one and I will see you on Friday with another tour. It is super out of the box for us. It's a type of island we have not done before yet done by a creator that is very near and dear to my heart, so I can't wait to share it with you guys. And I hope you're having a good one wherever you are. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing and liking the video so you can stick around for more of my videos. I'm here every Monday and Friday, and I'll see you guys around so soon. Bye!